Hi guys! Welcome back to the YouTube channel and to Vampire. It's getting good now, isn't it guys? I'm loving it! So we have to carry on now from our last episode. By the way guys, if you haven't caught up with this series, please go ahead and do so. Um, it's a really, really cracking story. In our last episode, we met the um, good old Ascalon Club. And today we're going to go around, uh, as it says on the right hand side there, ask locals about possible sources of infection in the West End. So if we quickly look at the map, we've got quite a large area to cover and we've never been here before, but we are, it's just said we are stable. So that is what we're going to do. So let's go and have a talk to some people. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. He certainly did. Oh, there's a guy. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognise your oldest friend? Clarence. Huh? Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war too. So sorry I didn't recognise you at first. I almost didn't recognise you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true for... I've witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Okay. Um, we'll try this one straight away. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. Ooh, uh, misses. Let's have some personal questions since apparently we know this guy. How's your wife? How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. Is there trouble at home? Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. If you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny. Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Why are you a village idiot? But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Why? Oh, we can't. Should we do a medical checkup on this guy? See if he needs anything. Um, yes. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? <laughs> Come on. Is he okay then? He's got migraine. We don't have any migraine cures. Rats. <clears throat> I will see you later. Okay, we really need to get some migraine cures and some... You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Some other types of cures are missing. I think there's a neuralgia one we're missing as well. We really need to do that. Let's go and see if we can talk to some other people. Oh, she's moved over there. Okay. So what I was noticing, guys, um, I did a little bit of research on the game and what happens if one of the districts goes really, really bad and unstable. Apparently something is going to happen. So I'm deliberately going to let one of the um, areas go bad. Deliberately going to do that so we can see in the game what happens when that happens, if you know what I mean. Women of all countries unite. Let me talk to you again, madam. Women's right to vote is only good evening, the first Ms. Ashby. Step. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullanies. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Oh, okay. I think we're going there then. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Yes, <laughs> I think there's something a little bit uh, going on between those two. Ah, boxes. Loot boxes. Oh no, that's a poster. Right, the east end of town. 
Let's go see if we can find some more loot. I know the ingredients we need to make two of the cures we have to buy. Can we actually not see this on the map yet? The east. Ah! Right over that away. So we need to go kind of back around on ourselves. So it's like back up. Okay, go back that way. Love the music in this game. Uh, that away. I must admit, it's nice to be able to walk around in, uh, an area without being attacked every five minutes. But we do need the um, we do need the XP as well. Right away. There's a bin there. It's kind of a scavenging there. Oh, we got some scary noises going on. Uh, kind of straight across if we can. How do we get through here? Oh, another bed. Shotgun shells, awesome sauce. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? Oh uh oh. I need to find out what they're after. Oh uh oh. He's warning me. Let's go get him. Oh, you bugger! Get the one with the birdie thing. Oh, you're a bit tough, sir. I could do with a bit of a bite soon. What have you dropped for me? Anything? Yeah. Shillings. I want stuff and things I can sell. A good handle part. Well, that's good. Where was the third one? Up there. A screw. Okay. Right. Now we're going the wrong way again. Back. Posters. This is the way. This is the way. I mean, you shard. Oh, I don't want to eat rats. No, because he tells me off when I eat rats, guys. I can't do that. Oh, a trigger part and a ring. Can't get in that door. Okay, we can't get in that door either. But this is the place, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. How are we going to get around here, then? can't see anything up there. Look at those old signs, guys. The tobacco and whiskey and everything. That is awesome. How are we going to get around? Aha! Aha! Hello. Oh, a silver mirror. That would be good to sell. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Uh-oh. Not good. Quinine. Good. Got some more quinine. Jolly good. Continue investigating around the house a little bit. Oh, what a sweet bedroom. I hate rooting around people's houses. Let me have a quick look at this poster. Ooh. Opium. That is what we needed. For one of the cures, anyway. Nothing else I can see in this bedroom. Why do people have opium in the bedroom? Hmm. 
Oh god, there's another body. I mean, I absolutely love this game, but I don't like the way he moves, guys. He had his tongue removed. Ew! He gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. Ew! Box of pills. Some erg, 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 erg something. <laughs> I can't pronounce that word. It's more of it anyway. <laughs> This is the first time I've actually recorded uh, Vampire since I've had my fibromyalgia flare up. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. But obviously you'll be able to tell while I'm doing the playthrough that I'm not exactly up to scratch yet. But I really wanted to try again. Okay, now where are we going? Ah, oh, it's another body. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Oh my goodness, who's done this? Definitely a bit of a struggle down here. That's a, is that a door out? Or is it cabinet? It's a cabinet. War opium. Good, good. Oh my crikey. Oh, in the cabinet. Hey, we're getting some very, very good stuff. After this, guys, we're going to head back to our office, get some sleep, make lots more cures. And we're going to try and make a couple of the districts more stable by healing people. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. Oh my goodness, look at her arms. Oh my goodness. Shoot her in the head. What is the stuff she's putting on us? Oh. She's puking crap on us. Oh. Get out of the crap. Get out of the crap. Jonathan, get out of the crap. Where the hell is she? Hey! I've never seen such a radical mutation. Ooh. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Oh my goodness, she just kind of poofed. We're covered in shit and crap and stuff and things. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Hang on. The wrong button. What I meant to press was G. MT. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Is there anything else we've missed in here? This is that was disgusting. Hello, something here. Dear Elsa, it is with the greatest joy that I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school. Since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students so please remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school yours sincerely dr fletcher so this girl took lessons at the famous doris fletcher acting school oh i bet that's where it's going to be okie dokie guys what i'm going to do then is try and get back to our safe house because it's a little bit weary and we do have some XP and I'm going to make some more cures and make sure I get the other districts up to par and then we'll continue on with the story after I've done that. See you back in a little bit. Hang on a cotton picking minute. As I was going down the street I uh, saw this guy banging on a door. It's one of them. Oh, it's a buddy.
Why was he banging on the door like that? Anyway, I just thought I'd quickly show you that things can pop up <laughs> when you're out and about in the area. You never know what you're going to find or what's going to happen. And I don't want you guys watching to miss out. So I shall carry on heading back towards our office. Okay guys, this is what I was talking about uh, regarding the districts. As we can see here, the docks is at critical. Um, so we're going to leave this area and see exactly what happens in the game when things get into hostile and go really bad. Um, our public hospital is healthy. We've got one person with a migraine, which we can treat. Um, our Whitechapel has a neuralgia and a cold, which I think I've got one cold cure. And our West End has one person with a migraine. So I'm going to go back and cure these people and get back to where we were within the storyline. And I shall see you there. Okay, we're back on the trail. And I found another citizen to talk to. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Doctor Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I love his monocle. Ooh, trade. Okay, let's do that first. Let's see what he has. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Oh, look. I've only got 27. Can I, I don't have anything to sell. I don't know, but at least we found another one that we can trade with. But now let's ask him about the source of infection. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Oh, okay. How are you doing, by the way? Let's have a quick checkup on you. You're healthy. Well, that's good. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Okay. Somewhere near the railway bridge. Ah, look. So we need to go up and right. Can we go down here? Is this where we need to go? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going the completely opposite way. It's a little bit hard for me to get my head wrapped around this map sometimes, guys. This way? Yes. Up there and then the next right. If we can. Down here. Ooh. This way? Yes, through the gate. We locked. That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? It's locked. <laughs> I knew it'd be locked. Okay. Oh, there's noises too. Can we get around anywhere? Okay. Let's have a look a little, little uh, can't speak. A little look around. See if there's any way we can get through. Oh dear. We've got a skull. Oh, and a beastie! We've got a big beastie! You're not going to be on my ass. Get off me! Oh my goodness me. There's lots of noises and stuff going on around here. Bullet. Nice. Anywhere we can jump up to. I have. Can we get up there? Yes. We can. Isn't this where we were? No. Complete new house. It's kind of a rummage. Small bag of junk. Ah, 
Aha! A balcony. That is going to take us where we need to be. Okay. Awesome sauce. There's another one down there, look. Somebody rummaging in a bin. Oh, the bins. What can you drop for us? Oh, no! Oh, he's a tough one. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Hey, he's whizzing around like I do. <laughs> Think you can get me? You are fooled, sir. I didn't drop anything. No, damn it. Right, is this where we need to be? This one here? Clear the second source of infection. Oh my goodness me. Ah, <gasps> language! Still your tongue, wife. Just looking around for lootables, guys. Ooh! Pump action shotgun. We'll have to have a look at that, guys, later and uh, see if we can't. Um... <gasps> Language! We can't do it up a little bit with some bits and pieces. What was shining there? This cabinet. Nope. Yes, it is. There we go. Not get up there. Oh my goodness, Roger McPherson and Priscilla McPherson. guys come we need some gear come on come on come on come on no you're not getting me you sod oh my goodness I don't have any more gear left Ooh, that was close, guys. Good trigger part. Excellent. What's in here? Nice. Did we get them both? We did, didn't we? Anything else in this house? A love letter. Darling, thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. Oh, hello. <laughs> shivering skin for only you. My hero can make me feel that is that desired. Please come back to me soon for I am dying to press my timid bosom to your chest again. Ooh. <laughs> yes, my beloved. My precious. I've lost it. My precious come back to me and I promise you. A night of eternal and unbridled passion. Right now, I'm wearing nothing but your last gifts. Oh yes, I'm burning for you and I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust. Doris Fletcher. So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. Yes, indeed. It looks like he did. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, guys. That was a bit racy for that time. Uh, that time in history i think just a little bit racy there Ooh, uh. okay so let's see on the map where we need to go next because we need to locate doris fletcher's theater so we need to come out of there back round and all the way around to there so instead of you coming with me guys i'll scoot around quickly and get as close as i can before we start again okay we're a little bit further down the map so i thought i'd bring you back 
Oh, let these buggers kill each other first. Go on, then we'll pick off what's left. <laughs> Oh, there's a vampire. Oh, hold up. They're getting us. We're going to have to go in, guys. It's this vampire that's going to be the trouble. Yep. Oh, he's got me. I can't see. Get off me. Wow. He got me right in the neck there. Pick it up. Um, Hang on. Something strange is going on with my character. There we go. He was a little bit wonky there for a second. A bit of a glitch. Right, okay. The theatre. Should be coming right up to it on the left there. Here it is. Oh, there's a dude there. Look. Right, how are we going to get in here? I cannot enter. Surprise, surprise. I'm trying to sneak around the side, around the back. No window open. We're going to have to get these guys. Oh no! Not the sunshine thing. Don't do that. Nasty. We no likey that. Right, how the heck are we going to get into this theatre? I have to go around the back. Find an access to the theatre. Gotta be a way in. Um, let me have a look at the map. Ah. Okay, so it's time to go back that way. Safe place right now, sir. No, it's not, because I'm on the streets. Ha! Out of the way. <laughs> when you in a fight, you get turned around and you can't work out which way the blubbing at you're going. That's it. Straight up there and left ish. No. Back on me. Down there. That's it. Okay, somehow, around here, there'll be an access in. Uh oh. You're not burning me. No, you're not. Good look around. I'm sure we've been here before. It's locked, all right. Over there. Where's the loots? Where's the loots? Oh my goodness, where are we on the map? See, we've gone too far around. Definitely in this area, though. Right, I'm gonna have a good look around, guys, and I'll come back to you when we find it. Okay, I'll show you where we are on the map. We're kind of just there. And up there. There should be an open window, hopefully. That's what it told me anyway. Before I started recording, he said there's an open window. Uh, up there. Aha. And here it is. We're going in. Woo woo. Okay, guys, this episode might go on a little bit longer than normal because I wanted to, um, like, pack in this most of the chapter as I could, get to the bottom of the source of infection within here. But the loading screens take a little while. There we go. There we go. Doris Fletcher's acting school. Here we are, guys. Can't see any loot there. Whoa to you, nations of. Ooh. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head, fit only to smash.
back at her soil. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? I think it's coming from like a mock stage or something. It's definitely no loot about. Uh oh. Oh, you little monkey. I don't like it when they explode on you. That's disgusting. Make sure we have a good look around because we don't want to miss any loots or anything. And our health is pretty... Well, our health's fine. But our... The other thing that I'm trying to think of the name of. The bottom bar there. We need to feed. I don't really want to eat rats. Oh, hello. Looks like we're going down here, guys. Oh, wow. Let's check all the rooms and places. Oh, crap. Goes that way. Goes around that way. Ah. She's on the stage. I thought she would be. Woe to you, nations of right, so. Find a way down there to the stage. Oh, rats. I'm going to have to do it. I'm sorry. I know you don't like doing it, Jonathan. It's just something we have to do, my friend. Oh, that's poor Doris. I knew her well. Okay. Any more rats? This place is pretty poor of loot, isn't it? Okay. Oh, explodes! Got myself turned around a little bit. Aha! It's locked. Oh, typical. It's blooming locked. How are we going to get down to that stage that we had to like jump down? We can't go that away. How about this away? I'm sure that's the way we came in, though, isn't it? That's where we come in. Okay. Tell you what, guys, we're gonna get turned around in this game. It's so confusing. Oh, hang on, rat. Sorry, dude. Sorry. I don't think there's any way around there, is there? Must be where we can just like jump down. Uh, let me look round there. To you, nations of How are we going to get down there, guys? For in front of you stands the tall queen. I can't you jump. You can, but lower your head. Hmm. Let me have another trip around. Only to... Okay, I missed this door down here. Like a silly moo. Here we go, guys. Here we Who go. You who dared enter my realm, are you here to worship or mock me? What does she I'm look here to like? Put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah, but Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you, but I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. 
Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until what is then, under that all shoulder? Shall die, for that was her final wish. Oh my goodness, here we go. Come to me, my servant. Avenge me. <laughs> Get a oh no, there's another one! There's another one! Behold, Come on, we can do it, we can do this! Oh no, she's exploded! The what the hell was that? Oh, get off me! Get off! My beloved, die for the love of me. Oh, it's like a big fist that comes out, that's disgusting! Oh my goodness! We're not gonna do this, guys! I am not prepared for this. We died. She is tough. Okay, we're nearly there. We've got her. I think we've got her. Oh my goodness. Wait. I beg you, wait. What? I I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Oh my goodness, that looks horrible. Beat a little faster now. You fancy me then, Doctor? Uh, I don't think so. No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> Will I be remembered? Will you... You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Oh my goodness, guys. How the hell did her arm get like farewell. that? Dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Oh my goodness. We've got to get the hickety hickety out of here. I probably leave the theatre right now. <laughs> no shay <Shea> Sherlock. <laughs> she probably leave the theatre right now. Yes, and we're going to leave the episode here as well, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. If you've liked what you've seen today, please drop me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I have a girl to get to a thousand subs. It would be very, very much appreciated. But for now, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.